What do you need to know about uterine prolapse? A uterine prolapse is when the uterus descends toward or into the vagina. It happens when the pelvic floor muscles and ligaments become weak and are no longer able to support the uterus. In some cases, the uterus can protrude from the vaginal opening. Complications can sometimes result, including ulceration of exposed tissue and prolapse of other pelvic organs such as the bladder or the rectum. Among women aged 55 years and above, it is one of the most common reasons for undergoing a hysterectomy. Fast facts on uterine prolapse. Here are some key points about uterine prolapse. More detail is in the main article. Uterine prolapse is a relatively common condition in which the uterus drops when the pelvic muscles become too weak to support it. Risk factors include having a high body mass index BMI, having completed menopause, and pregnancy and childbirth. Symptoms include urine leaks, discomfort in the pelvic area, and lower back pain. Kegel exercises are important for treating mild forms of uterine prolapse. Stages Uterine prolapse can be categorized as incomplete or complete. Incomplete uterine prolapse The uterus is partially displaced into the vagina but does not protrude. Complete uterine prolapse, a portion of the uterus protrudes from the vaginal opening. The condition is graded by its severity, determined by how far the uterus has descended. First grade, descended to the upper vagina. Second grade, descended to the introitus. Third grade, cervix has descended outside the introitus. Fourth grade, cervix and uterus have both descended outside the introitus. More severe cases may need surgery, but in the early stages, exercises may help. Symptoms Symptoms vary depending on how severe the prolapse is. Typical symptoms include, pelvic heaviness or pulling, vaginal bleeding or an increase in vaginal discharge, difficulties with sexual intercourse, urinary leakage, retention or bladder infections, bowel movement difficulties, such as constipation, lower back pain, Uterine protrusion from the vaginal opening. Sensations of sitting on a ball or that something is falling out of the vagina. Weak vaginal tissue. In mild cases, there may be no symptoms. Symptoms that appear only sometimes often become worse toward the end of the day. Causes, pelvic floor muscles can become weak for a number of reasons. Pregnancy, factors related to delivery, including trauma, delivering a large baby, or having a vaginal delivery getting older, especially after menopause, when levels of circulating estrogen drop. Frequent heavy lifting. Straining during bowel movements. Chronic coughing. A history of pelvic surgery. Genetic factors leading to weakened connective tissue. Exercises. Mild uterine prolapse can be treated with Kegel exercises, weight management and avoidance of heavy lifting. How to do a proper Kegel is vital to the success of the treatment. These exercises can be done anywhere and at any time and can help strengthen the muscles of the pelvic floor. Your health care provider or physical therapist can instruct you on how to perform a proper Kegel while in the office, at which time proper technique can be evaluated. Sometimes, a technique called biofeedback may be applied. 
During biofeedback treatments, a device will monitor proper muscle contraction, the strength of the pelvic floor and timing of kegels. This reinforces proper technique of the exercises. To perform a proper kegel, tighten the pelvic floor muscles, as if you are attempting to stop urinating and hold for 5 seconds take a 5 second break and repeat for 3 sets, 10 times per day. The ultimate goal is to hold the contraction for 10 seconds each time the exercise is performed. Speak with your health care provider if you have any questions or for the evaluation and treatment of symptoms of uterine prolapse. They can make recommendations on a treatment choice that is best for you.